What am I laughing about? <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing about. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nyambura and this is A Hundred on Books. So today I'm going to be talking about On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which I read in February and absolutely enjoyed. In On the Come Up, we are following Brie, who is a young rapper trying to make a name for herself. And she spends a lot of time thinking about hip hop and rap generally. Like the number of times when in the middle of a conversation, someone will say something and a line will just pop up in her head is impressive and of course it helped that angie thomas herself used to be a teen rapper so she was also writing in a sense from personal experience anyway so brie at the opening of the book they don't have heat in their house and it's not a great situation to be in but her father was also a rapper before he was murdered quite horribly before her mother's eyes and so she also carries this legacy with her and it influences how people see her and the sort of opportunities she gets the sort of expectations people have of her also she lives with her mother and her brother her brother had a chance to escape the poor neighborhood they lived in and go to university but now he's back in the neighborhood working in a job at a pizza place and it's a sort of situation where it looks like it made no sense to go to university if you're going to end up working at, at the pizza place but he studied psychology and the psychological insights he has on the characters are so stunning he's a great reader of character i really enjoyed him as a character if listen listen i'm just i'm just putting it out there if angie thomas wants to write a book where trey Bree's brother is the main character. I will read that book. I'm just letting it. I'm not Team Trey or anything. I'm just saying I will read that book. Anyway, back to this story. So Brie goes into a, a battle, a rap battle with this kid called Miles who she beats resoundingly. Like, I mean, nobody thinks that Miles won. But Miles is the sort of kid who is a suburban kid and he's basically cosplaying the sort of life he talks about in his rap and his raps are not that great i mean just just from the content you know i mean i'm not a hip-hop head or anything but breeze material slaps he's not so much and then there's a side character whose name is Sunny, who is important because Sunny, brie and malik grew up together and so and then the same year in the same school they go to like a magnet school what americans call a magnet school so they sort of they do performing arts and so on and he is gay and this is important because usually when you encounter a gay character in a way you know they're sort of coming to terms with the fact that they're gay they're really struggling with it but with him it was more a young black man who's trying to make a certain life for himself who happens to be gay and I found that really refreshing because it wasn't the thing that his story pivoted on you know that was refreshing and then Malik her third friend is what am I saying yeah the fact the third of uh, the third of their trio Malik is seeing this girl and they're intent on having like a Black Lives Matter protest because Brie has been mishandled by the guards at their school and of course at some point they have a protest which doesn't go quite as planned because her song which is posted on the songs the books equivalent of soundcloud has you know all of these violent lyrics or what are judged to be violent lyrics and kids start singing this song during the protest and everyone is like uh, it's this protest that's making them, you know, unruly, etc, etc, etc. I mean, there are certain characters in the book that are almost tropes, but they are tropes that are so well harnessed for the purpose of the story that you don't feel like, I know that guy, that guy is a trope, you know. It, the book does a really good job of having all of these characters do a lot of work. And one of the characters I remember, there's a, an episode of This American Life that Nicole Hannah-Jones presented, I'm going to link it in the description, in which 
a lady stands up and talks about how some kids from certain neighborhoods are ruining the school and so on. And there's a scene like that, exactly like that in On the Come Up. I remember I even tweeted about this and I said, it was so jarring to see that, but it was also so refreshing to see a YA novel that confronts all of these things in a way that is sober and... What can I say? It's very well handled. I enjoyed all the characters. All of them were such well-rounded characters. So it also did not feel like just Bree's story with these side characters that weren't doing any work. Each of the side characters had rich inner lives and they had vibrant social interactions that were all feeding into the story. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I could talk about this book forever. I had a thread on Twitter where I did talk about this book forever, so which I will also link below. So yeah, tell me if you have read On the Come Up, what did you think of it? Did you enjoy The Hate You Give, which came before? I probably should have mentioned that. Yeah, this is not quite the sequel, but it occurs in the same universe as The Hate You Give, but after the events of The Hate You Give. Yeah, so let me know if you've read On the Come Up or if you've read The Hate You Give and you'd like to read On the Come Up. And I will be back soon talking more about books because <laughs> there's so many around here. Bye. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I keep doing this.